Have you ever wondered on how to ask the universe in a powerful way and also how to receive those answers like ASAP? So in this video, I'm going to share with you on how you can actually powerfully, clearly, that, you know, effectively ask the universe the questions, the guidance, the blessings that you would like to have in your life and also knowing how to receive those answers and interpret these signs in within 22 minutes yes it can be done so in this video i want to break it all down so if you guys are watching this for the first time my name is tina wong i am a true transformation coach an energy reader and intuitive guide and here on the channel we share information on the cosmic readings the energy readings and how to really step into your true alignment because this is what it's all about stepping into your power if you guys are liking this vibe make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button to be a part of the crew now, when we're talking about really asking the universe, you know, a lot of people ask me, Tina, how the heck do I do that? <laughs> like, where do I even begin? You know, like, do they understand, like, my language? Do I, like, you know, write it down? Do I speak it? Like, do I say it in my head? Like, what, what, how, how does it really work? How do I get that message to them? And here's the thing. This is how you might want to start opening up your channel and start thinking about it in this way. So it's not about like what you say. It's not about like, you know, speaking to the universe as like a person. It's like, yo, what's up? <laughs> like, uh, I would like a 10K in this month, please. You know, it's like, it's not really like that. It's more about, think about it more of this way. The universe and you, you guys are co-creating. But for you to really join the forces and co-create this reality that you wish to experience, you need to first connect and be one with the universe. Okay, so for example, if I am trying to get through to you, I'm not going to be like, um, hey, you know, uh, Lucy, hey, Susie, hey, Tom, like, you know, I'm like, if you're like miles away, I'm not going to be like here, like talking in my room, <laughs> you know, it, it's really allowing, uh, understanding how can I get connected to you, right? And how, how like, think about some ways that you can get connected maybe the phone, right? Maybe email, right? Maybe text messages. But think about how that works. It works through some kind of connection, right? The, the Wi-Fi, right? The phone tower, like think about it like that. So it's all about that frequency, okay, of energy. So I can only get to you in that way. So same thing when we're talking about the universe, how do we get into the universe? We have to connect in some kind of frequency, right? There's some kind of bridge, some kind of energy portal. So how you can do that is to tap into that universal energy and, and ask yourself, how can I connect to the energy? What is the universal energy? How does that really feel? And if you really think about it, the universe energy is love, is light, is peace. And when you tune into it, it's vast, right? And when you think of the universe, what are some words that comes into your head? Abundant, infinite, right? So if you're able to get into that state, you're already in that energy of the universe. So how can you do that quickly and effectively? Well, here's how. You want to really allow your energy to be in that calm state, in that peaceful, in that blissful, in that loving state. And what that means is that allowing outside distractions to not be there. You're not going to be calling out to the universe, listen to me, hello, when you're like in the middle of the street. It just doesn't work like that, right? Or if you're in chaotic mode, I'm so stressed, universe, what should I do with my life? Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do about this. Like you're in that panic, fear mode. And what is fear? Fear is a very low and dense type of energy, okay? It's very dense frequency. It feels heavy, right? This one people say, I feel so heavy right? They're in a lower frequency. So this is why when you are connecting with the universe, is it a high frequency or is it a low frequency? It's high, right? So this is why we need to raise our vibration to connect to the universe. And how we can do that is to really tap into gratitude, okay? I want you guys to comment it down below. Gratitude is key. 
So how this works is that we want to open up our hearts and we want to open up our channel to send our messages through, but we cannot do it when we're in fear, when we're in panic, when we're in chaos. And the best way is to calm the energy is to tap into that gratitude, okay? And before you do that, I want you to take a deep breath in and out. And you can do it a couple of times, okay, in silence so that you can calm your energy already. And when you're ready, you want to be closing your eyes. You know, you don't want to be like looking at so many different things. Just close your eyes, okay? Tune in, tune inside and tune into gratitude. What are you grateful for right now? in this moment and you start naming at least three things five things ten things that you're grateful for as how many that you need to feel that calmness energy why because when you are grateful for life when you're grateful for this moment it brings you back into presence it brings you back into the now it brings you back into the things that you already have in your life and not what is lacking right because we're like we don't have the money we don't have love we don't have the career but when you tune into gratitude i have a bed i have my beautiful cat i have a home right and then you just feel so much love and peace already and once you're in that moment then you're already aligning with that calmness energy of the universe and that love and that gratitude because what what you appreciate appreciates i want you guys to comment it down below all right so once that step is done this is when you want it to really tune in and tap into your heart and not your head remember your heart your heart knows your heart is connected and when your heart is open your energy portals are open so connect and really ask for what is it that you desire what is it that you need clarity on and i want you to first be specific okay you either be specific about a question that you have or if you're looking for any type of guidance then you want to open it up okay so there's two ways of going if you have a a very specific question like should I do this or not I want you to tune in and ask the question is it a yes or is it no it's like let's say should I um, should I go to Japan <laughs> okay yes or no okay you wanted to give those options because now you only have the two energy portal right is it yes energy or is it no energy so it's easier for you and the universe to deliver that uh, in those buckets or if you just need general direction in your life then you want to open it up and ask for guidance but still i want you to narrow it down and categorize it is it in your love life is it in you know finances is it in your spirituality like break it down so how you get the powerful answer is knowing how to ask the powerful question so always try to narrow it down and make it a very concise and to the point question. Does this make sense? Okay, so the next thing when you after you ask that question is to really be open to receive. Okay, don't don't be like, I ask questions, I'm so scared to receive because remember fear puts you in this little, little, little box. So you want to open up your channel and if you feel like you're kind of scared for some reason, continue to breathe calm your energy i am open to receive the answers now i am open to receive the answers now and that's something that you can do and what i i love to do to really help this and this is what i share with my students and my clients when we work on our coaching programs is to really open up your hands like this okay open up your palms in front of you in the receiving mode while your eyes are closed i am open to receive the answers now and then just Stay in there for as long as you need to and feel the receiving okay, energy coming through. So now we're moving into the second part on how to receive the answers and how to interpret. Okay, So this is how you're going to do it. After you ask, you listen, but what are you listening for? You're listening for the signs, the symbols. You might, maybe some of you guys are more visual. You see signs, you see symbols, you see a picture, you see a, a, a scenario playing out, a color. But some of you guys will be hearing a certain word. Some of you guys will be hearing a certain sound. Maybe someone is speaking yes or some no or um, whatever the sound might come. Some of you guys can be hearing music right a song can be coming up or you can also be seeing numbers 
the ones, the twos, right? The one, 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 the two, two, twos. And some of you guys can also be feelers, right? So you feel, I feel good. I feel so aligned when I'm getting this answer, you know, or I feel so scared when I wanted to have it a yes. Right? And that, that could mean that you're just forcing that yes, then it's not true because your, your body is giving you signs that mm, right? this is not the one for you. So really listen to all of this, right? seeing from your third eye, hearing, and also feeling. Okay, so all of these are going to come into place. And once you have received that answer, you want to close up the portal, thank the universe, come back, right? and there is your answer, fast and easy. Now, for some of you guys, if you're not getting those answers um, in that, or if you would like more clarity, this is how you can continue to, to receive those answers throughout your day. And this is how you do it. So first of all, knowing that when you ask, you will, you will receive, okay? That's how it works. But you put something out, you get something in. That's the universal law. So knowing that it will come to you some way or another. So throughout your day, I want you to start paying attention because everything is a sign okay when you guys have commented down below everything is a sign so you can be interacting with your mom and for some for some reason she mentioned the word or of the place that you wanted to go or for some reason you keep on seeing the some words keep on popping up you're opening the book you're looking on the internet you're scrolling through the phone you keep on getting those words what does that mean for you some of you guys can be getting repeated numbers every, everywhere in that day. Or some of you guys can also feeling, okay? Now this is a super hack, okay? Super tips, make sure you listen closely. When you're getting a feeling, an urge to do something that you normally wouldn't do, you get an urge to feel like you need to go somewhere that you normally wouldn't go. All of a sudden you're driving home and you usually take your route and all of a sudden you're like, I'm feeling like getting a Starbucks today and you don't even drink the Starbucks. So what does that mean? Well, it means that the universe is sending you some signs and signal when you turn the other way. When you go to that Starbucks, there could be a sign, right? There could be someone that you meet. There could be the messenger, right? The oracle can be there. So really allowing yourself to step out of that comfort zone. Follow your feelings because here's the thing. You know, when, when, I, when I work with people, there's a lot of that, you know, building the trust. Why? Because if you are asking for signs, if you're wanting to receive signs, and then the signs come in and you don't trust it, what happens? Nothing, right? Nothing. Like it's not benefiting for you. The whole process is a waste of time. So if you actually wanting to co-create with the universe and getting the answer, you must trust. In the first place, you must say that I trust the universe. I trust that the universe is co-creating with me for my highest good. And if you feel like you need to build on that trust, build on that trust by saying the affirmation that I just mentioned. I trust the universe. I trust where I'm going. I trust in the signs, right? I trust in this beautiful co-creation. Just allowing yourself to build that trust. So that's number one. But also when you have that trust, what do you do? If you get the sign, oh, okay, cool. So uh, it's a yes, cool. So I'm, uh, 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 what should I do, right? You have to do something with it, right? For it to manifest into a blessing because receiving answer is one thing, but receiving the blessing is another thing. For you to actually go out there and receiving the benefits of getting the right answer for you, you must act on it. And if you feel in your heart that it's a yes and that you need to go here, then go. If you're feeling called to be somewhere else because you feel like the universe is asking you to step into that energy, then go. You must go. You must do something for you to receive the blessings from it. And here's an example. You know, last year, I was invited to go to L.A. Um, for an event. And at that time, I would just um, travel to Mexico and I booked uh, my place for two months, right? I have this beautiful place, two months. I loved it. Like I just literally went there for one week, okay? Like we paid for everything. I went there for one week and I got the call to go to LA for a month. And I'm just like, well, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I want to go to LA for a month when I already pay for my place for two months, right? Logically, you see, it didn't make sense. But the thing here is that after that, 
I was calling my friend, she was going to LA, I was calling my other friend, they're going to LA, and not only that, I was watching this beautiful documentary, and I was so intrigued by the film producer, and I really wanted to connect with her, and guess what? She says she has an event in LA, right? Like everywhere I'm looking is LA, LA, LA. And then not only that, I started seeing the number 777 everywhere. And what is seven? Seven, heaven, the angels, Los Angeles, the angels. So literally the signs were telling me, Tina, you need to go to LA. So that's what I did. I dropped everything, okay? I left the place that I booked for, went to LA for a month or a month and a half. <laughs> Who knows how long I was there. It was, it was phenomenal. But I met the most incredible people. But remember the, the, the film producer that I was talking about that I saw that she was having an event in LA? I ended up speaking at that same event, at her event. It was so synchronistic and it, it was crazy. And this is an example that I want to share with you that what could really happen when you listen to your heart, when you listen and follow through with these feelings and these guidances and really getting out of that head because remember you only know what you know. I want you guys to comment below. You only know what you know but when you open up your heart connecting with a universal intelligence it can guide you to really beautiful opportunities and really beautiful places if you dare to trust so my love i invite you to trust and i invite you to flow comment below i trust and i flow like this video if you got anything from it comment below what your experiences are when working and co-creating and asking with the universe any questions comment them down below i will go through them and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell to stay tuned for more videos if you need any support join my free uh, facebook group in the comments um, in the description below so you can get more trainings i love you so so much and i will talk to you soon